Hello, my awesome Scorpio. I missed you guys. Scorpio, I hope you're doing awesome. Scorpio, it's midweek already. Um, hang in there, guys. It's almost Friday. We are on Wednesday already. So, Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. We're going to do that. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Scorpio, and how you are currently doing on this soulmate journey that you're on, whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. Second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, what's going on with your soulmate and how they are relating to you at this time emotionally and what's on their mind. Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? Also, how is Scorpio currently doing on this soulmate journey they own? How is Scorpio doing on this soulmate journey? What's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, this one is one extra message too, representing your subconscious. Two extra messages. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is this is you feeling sad, alone, missing your soulmate. Feeling sad, alone. You feel the urge that you need to see them. Some of you are worrying about your finances, though. You're worried about your job, business, or your financial future. This is you trying to make wise financial decisions for yourself finances are heavily on your mind right now you love your soulmate you do love them yeah you love your soulmate scorpio but you you feel you're not in a relationship with them right now you feel alone left out in the cold missing them this is you loving them a lot though quietly from a distance maybe Ace of Cups. This is you also yearning for a relationship that's reciprocal. So you haven't experienced reciprocity with this person of yours. Yeah, it hasn't been reciprocal. Um, they haven't really been there for you. At least that's what you feel. Like they haven't really put work into this. Um, this is you loving your person. You love this person a lot. Let me see your extra message. Yeah, you see? This is your subconscious. This is Three of Swords, heartbreak showing up here. So in a traditional deck, Three of Swords is depicted with the heart being stabbed by Three Swords. This is you feeling very heartbroken, not really discussing it with people. This is you holding it inside, not discussing with people that you know, trust, how deeply heartbroken you feel. This is deep heartbreak, especially with this combination. Yeah, you yearning deep down inside, you are yearning for long-term commitment. <clears throat> this is a very powerful combination in a love reading. Ten of Cups with Ten of Pentacles. But you don't have that right now. This is what you're yearning for, for stable, grounded, long-term relationship. Uh, you're tired of heartbreak. You're tired of sadness. You're tired of emptiness, feeling alone. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, I feel so bad. You, you're going through a lot right now. Let me see, universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio. What will Scorpio be dealing with facing? How is Scorpio doing on this soulmate journey? Yeah, a lot of questions, no answers. This is you, not sure if you're going to see this person, when you're going to see them. Yeah, this is you. This is you making wise decisions for yourself financially, trying to look at your finances and job objectively trying to make wise decisions about your spending habits uh how you're gonna support yourself next year uh you want to make wise decisions for yourself so you feel more secure in the upcoming years yeah this person may be at a distance from you either traveling you feel very closed off emotionally towards them so you love them a lot but you're not communicating with them right now. You see, you're showing up as extremely guarded with your heart. 
knight of swords but your sword is pointing down so you're purposely not communicating right now with them not telling them how you feel even the few of you that are communicating sporadically with this individual here and there a few words you're not telling this person although most of you are not in contact right now with them you're not telling this person how you truly feel you feel both love and heartbreak um yeah you see, this is what you're yearning for. So again, 10 of cups with 10 of pentacles uh, from two different tarot decks. This is you trying to make wise decisions for yourself financially. So you're concentrating on your financial stability, job, uh, investments, spending habits. Yeah, some major changes. You, you're making major changes in your life uh, for the better. You're making wise decisions. Wow. They're showing up here. Uh, us very guarded, also not communicating. King of Swords. This person loves you a lot because they showed up on top of Ten of Cups. But they have a hard time communicating their feelings, their emotions. So it's like they are one side of them is very emotional but hidden emotions they don't like to express emotions deep emotions whether it's heartbreak or love and one side of them is all strategic like a judge uh all uh about mind logic not showing emotions this person showing up here as attractive successful good at business respected by a lot of people but not showing emotions very easily. Uh, yeah. Uh, restraining themselves from communicating at this time for some reason. Hmm. What's going on here with this heartbreak, Scorpio? You know, let's be showing, please show us more, more. This is your subconscious, Scorpio. You're heartbroken that you don't have this long-term commitment that you're yearning for. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Scorpio. Especially on this soulmate connection. How is Scorpio doing? This is beautiful though. Look at this. This is you healing. Look at this. This is you learning important lessons. Uh, healing. This is beautiful. Healing. Because you are putting work into this. You're going to be working on healing. Your heart good for you scorpio this is awesome this is the best card in the entire deck and for it to show up on top of the worst card of the entire deck three of swords means that you're gonna succeed at healing from this heartbreak releasing the pain healing from it you are being patient so you know that you want a long-term relationship monogamous relationship that's what you deserve you you've been waiting patiently for this relationship to arrive whether with this person or somebody new new soulmate yeah you see this is you healing from feeling lonely and heartbroken this is loneliness sadness also heartbreak you miss your soulmate a lot yeah you see this is you taking your time this is you taking your time you know that healing takes time of course no need to rush rush uh, rushing energy when you rush it's not really healing you need to be patient and you are this is you wanting to reconnect with people with loved ones who've been there for you emotionally supportive so a lot of you will get an opportunity to reconnect maybe family reunion this is showing up something with family reunion or celebrations because this is three of cup more more than two people uh this is you celebrating laughing good for you scorpio good for you you have blessings in your life so yes you're going through a lot emotionally but look around you you have a lot of blessings recognize those blessings in your life okay uh, give yourself more credit uh universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of scorpio for scorpio's highest good please Universe, the soulmate of Scorpio, the soulmate of Scorpio. What is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind? 
this just fell out as I'm shuffling. So this person is very scared to reach out. They want to communicate with you, but they feel blocked. They, maybe they're thinking you don't want to hear from them or they're scared of reaching out first. This person has a lot of fears. They want to reach out, but they're stopping themselves. And I just looked on the bottom of the deck, uh, Ace of Cups. As these two fell out, this was the bottom of the deck. So this person loves you a lot, but quietly, from a distance. This is unspoken love, secret love. Yeah, with Ten of Cups. This person loves you a lot, but they don't express it. They have a hard time expressing emotions. Universe, what is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio? One, one extra representing their subconscious trying to hide from me. See, they want to see you. This also means important telephone conversations, face-to-face uh, -face conversations, gifts, apologies, peace offerings, explanations. Yeah, they also miss you a lot. So both of you got this. This person wants to see you. They miss you a lot, a lot. They feel empty, alone, neglected, rejected, left out in the cold. They feel empty. Yeah, you see, again, page of uh, one. So this person wants to communicate with you. This is representing communication that's unexpected, out of nowhere, passionate communication. They wish to hear from you. So this person is hoping you're going to reach out to them. This person is hoping they go, you're going to reach out to them. Like, whether you reach out or they reach out, they hope communication will happen. Let me see their subconscious. Yeah, they want to take action towards you. I'm glad to see that they're showing up as a king of wands instead of knight of wands. So they know they need to be reciprocal, that they need to be mature in their behavior, that they need to take solid action. This person actually is successful and attractive, no matter what sign or gender they are. This person is successful, attractive. They may be very good with business, with their job. Um, respected by a lot of people who know them for their work. <clears throat> Universe, what is going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio? See, they feel enormous connection with you, the lovers. So past life connection with this person. You guys are soulmates from many lifetimes. This person feels you are extremely important to them in their life. They want to see you, reconnect with you. Yeah, you see, they know communication is absolutely necessary. They want to reconnect with you. They miss you a lot. They want to tell you they miss you. This person misses you a lot. Wow. They feel very unbalanced. So this specific combination shows me very clearly that... One day they feel brave enough in reaching out to you and next day they don't feel so brave. They retreat, they hold back, they stand, they can stand back, a step back and wait to see if you're going to reach out first. So this person um, is hesitating. Yes, they do want to communicate, but they're scared of reaching out first. Uh, they feel very unbalanced. Wow, you are the catalyst in their life, bringing major changes to their life and they recognize it. They feel you are extremely important to them, to their emotional, spiritual development. You bring major changes to them. A lot of you are dealing with another Scorpio, Gemini, very strong Libra, Sagittarius. Yeah, their main objective is to reconcile with you, meaning be on peaceful terms with you. Ooh, they feel you gave up on them, walked away from them either gave them a cold shoulder or walked away. Um, if in some cases they walked away from you or gave you a cold shoulder and you gave up finally, they regret it deeply. Whoever walked away from whoever, they regret that deeply. Uh, they feel empty without you, sad, depressed, lonely. Wow, not having communication with you is killing them. This is emotionally draining to them. They are dying to talk to you, but they're not reaching out right now. And it looks like you're not reaching out either. This is them. 
dying to talk to you. Yeah, they feel you are disappointed in them. Yeah, this is how they view you towards them. They view you as guarded, not reaching out to them, not searching for them, not chasing them. Uh, very guarded with your heart, disappointed in them because your sword is pointing south instead of north. They feel like you're purposely restraining yourself from communicating with them, like they disappointed you greatly. So somehow they feel that they disappointed you, that you're very disappointed. My goodness, Scorpio, you guys are going through a lot together. This is challenging. I just finished uh, reading for Pisces and similar, similar energy showed up for Pisces and their soulmate. So some of you are dealing with the Pisces universe. What's going on with the soulmate of Scorpio? This is them. This is their subconscious. They miss you like crazy. Again, five of pentacles. This person is missing you a lot. They feel empty without you. Sad. Yeah. They restraining themselves from communicating. This person is spying on you, checking up on you. Uh, keeping tabs on you any way they can. They also resisting this communication right now. Their sword is pointing down. Um, they want to hear from you. You see, this person has a lot of deep regrets, sadness, heartbreak. This is them feeling heartbroken, regretful, deep regrets, heartbreak, sadness, no communication, silent treatment. They're trying to heal from this heartbreak, disappointment. Um, so they're not reaching out, uh, not because they uh, they want to hurt you, no. Uh, it's because they feel so confused right now on what to do, what the right thing to do is right now. And they're hoping you're going to reach out to them first. But this person knows that eventually they're going to have no choice but to reach out to you. This person loves you. Uh, a lot with that ace of cups they feel this is unresolved scorpio we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmates long-term plans and intentions towards you then we're gonna ask what they hiding from you at this time whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.